Hi friends, welcome back to Locally Raised. If this is your first video, my name is Marta and tomorrow I'm getting some baby chicks. So today I'm making all the preparations for them, starting with making some magic water. If you're not familiar with magic water, it's just a solution of water with some garlic and apple cider vinegar and raw honey added. This solution helps bolster the chick's immune systems and also uh, aids their digestion. So this is something that's just used in their first few days. It's especially helpful if the chicks have made a journey through the mail to you because they've been without food and water for a couple days. Uh, but my chicks, I'm going to pick up locally and this will be helpful to them too. So let me show you how I'm gonna make this. I'm starting with half a gallon of water. And to that, I will add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You'll want to use vinegar that has the mother. That's vinegar that's active, which is going to offer that probiotic benefit to the chicks to help them digest food. Then I'm going to add a quarter cup of honey. This happens to be some honey from a local beekeeper important that the honey be raw because again that's where the probiotic benefit comes from this will have all those beneficial enzymes that will aid in digestion if you've ever heard sayings like slow as molasses honey is about the same And then finally, I'm going to mince this clove of garlic, and that'll go in as well. In goes the garlic. So that's a half gallon of water, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, quarter cup raw honey, plus one minced clove of garlic. I'm going to give this a mix. And then I'll cover it. And there's my magic water. It's ideal that it's mixed a day in advance because that'll give it some time to infuse. I will give this to the chicks when I fill their water feeder the first time and I'll continue to give it until it's used up and then I'll just transition to regular water for them. So this will give them that nice little boost for their health and we'll be off to a good start. Now my kids and I are going to prepare their little brooder. I'm ready to prepare the brooder. So I'm using this 27 gallon bin it's just a storage bin that I cleaned out as our brooder, and I'm going to start off with putting in a couple inches of pine shavings. Hey, kiddos. Kiddos. You want to come help me? Next, it's time to set up my heating plate brooder. I know that many people use heat lamps to keep their chicks warm and that that's been common practice for quite some time. After doing my research, I've decided that I prefer this to the heat lamp for a couple reasons. First of all, the heat lamp is a fire hazard. This, not so much. This is radiant heat. Secondly, the heat lamp can sometimes burn chicks if it's not used properly. Um, and finally, this mimics a mother hen. 
The chicks are able to gather under it just as they would under a mother hen, and so it's really comforting to them. There are three height settings offered here. So I'm starting them off on the lowest setting because the chicks will need the most heat during their first week. For feed, I'm using this chick starter grower from Manapro. It's high in protein, which is appropriate for the chicks. And I got this on Amazon, but it's available for about the same price uh, at my local tractor supply. So it's nice to know there's a brick and mortar I can go to to get more feed. Here my kiddos are loading the feeder. I like to have them help as much as possible. I want them to feel some ownership because they'll help take care of these chickens as they get older. All right, it's the morning that we're getting our chicks. So I'm gonna do two things before we leave. We're about to get into the car. First, I'm gonna pour out their water so it's all ready when they get here. This has infused overnight and you'll see all the honey is incorporated, nothing stuck to the bottom. So I'm happy with that. that little lights going so it's heating up now the radiant heat brooder is warming up food and water are ready we are ready to go they're here we've got the chicks you ready kiddos yeah, yeah. All right, let's open them up now remember don't pick them up yet okay, okay. Oh, they're cold. See how they're all huddled together? Yeah. They're cold. Okay, you can touch them a little bit, and we're going to put them right in them so that they can drink some water and get warm because they're very cold. Good job being gentle. I've got three kinds of chicks here. This first is the Rhode Island Red. I got four of these, and I chose them because, well, partly because I just think the adult chickens are really pretty but also because they're prolific I want lots of eggs from these gals as they get older and because they're cold hardy so I'm just introducing each one to the water I'm dipping their little beaks in these chicks are just a day old and haven't had water before so once they've gotten a taste I know that they know how to come back and get more these yellow chicks with black spots are Easter eggers I've got four of them they're also prolific, but that was really just a bonus when it came to these chickens. I wanted them because of their pretty eggs. They lay these multicolored eggs, mostly blues and greens, but a few light browns, sort of pinks. I love that. last two chicks are olive eggers. I'm just excited about having colorful eggs.
these little babies are clearly cold. They're just huddled together. I put the brooder on the, the, the radiant heat brooder on its lowest setting because I thought day old chicks would be right, but maybe they can't fit under there with the shavings. I'm gonna move this up. spent most of their first day under the heat, which made me a little nervous because they weren't eating or drinking. But by the next day they started to venture out and they finally started eating and drinking. It was interesting to see the differences in the breeds. The Rhode Island Reds definitely hung back more. It took them more time to leave the heat and more time to try out the food in the water. Within three days, the chicks were already noticeably bigger. You can see their heads are sort of bumping the top of the brooder here. I can tell time is gonna pass pretty quickly with these gals. Thanks for joining my family for our first week with our baby chicks. We're on a journey to change the way that we source our food, and so I invite you to subscribe and follow along with that journey. I'll see you next week, bye.